Hello and welcome to the AGL curriculum. We recommend that you use Trello as your tool for using the curriculum as it serves as a good way to organize the work you and your team will do and it is an opportunity to see how this tool works for project management. To use this board, you will find the link on the Agile Gov Leadership site or in the description of this YouTube video. If you do not already have a Trello account, you can create one very easily. Even before you create an account, you will be able to view this board, but you won't be able to copy the board until you create your account. Let's get started. You'll click on the link and arrive at the curriculum board. You'll see that the first list is called instructions and you'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this board. First, we'll copy the board so that you can customize it for your team. Go to the show menu link on the right of the screen, click on more, and then click on copy board. You're going to title this board, and you're going to decide, do you want to keep the board public or do you want it to be team visible? You'll keep the cards and you'll click create. Next, you'll add your team members to the board. If they don't have Trello accounts yet, you can just type in their email and they will get an invite. The purpose of this Trello board is to move the stories in the backlog into done. Once you and your team have done that, you will be ready to start your project. We've designed this as a three-week curriculum to train and prep your team on how to run an agile government project. The lists on the storyboard are titled in a way that is similar to what you will use in your own project after you complete the curriculum. For week one, we'll take all the cards that are labeled red on this board and move them into the in sprint list. When these cards are being worked on, they will be moved to in dev. When you finish the card, you'll move it into in QA, and once the team agrees that the work on that card is really done, you'll move it into done. Now we have to decide how we want our team to use this board. The idea is that each card in the prioritized backlog list is a task, or several tasks are, in one, are within one card. Now we have to decide how we want our team to use this board. The idea is that each card in the prioritized backlog list is a task or several tasks are within one board. We need to decide if we duplicate each card per person or if we use checklists within the cards so that each person can check off their name once they have completed the card. I'm going to suggest that we use a checklist, but I wanted to mention the duplicating of cards in case that appeals to you. Instructions for that are on the instructions card. To create a checklist, you'll open the card and click on Checklist. You'll name the, tecla, the checklist. And you'll create a list for each team member. Once everyone has read this card, completed each task, and passed the test designated on it, they will check off their name. Anyone on the team can move the card to QA once they see all the names are checked off. The team will convene at the end of the week to move things to done. You can also add comments to the card and assign the cards to your teammates. Use the at character, which will in turn send a notification to the person that you are chatting. When week two begins, you'll do the same thing we just did. You'll move the cards for week two into in sprint and you'll create your checklist. There are also two other lists at the end of this board that may come in handy. The first is titled Reference Resources Questions. This can be used for your team to add cards with things that come up during the week. They can add each other to the cards if they think someone on the team can respond, or they can just create the card and leave it to be discussed at the end of the week. The second list is Rose Bud Thorn, which is a way of framing a retrospective. This list should be used by the team to create cards that capture what is working, what isn't working, and ideas to try as the weeks go on.
At the end of each week, this list should be reviewed and discussed as a team. We hope this board works for you, and if at any time you choose to use a different tool to manage the curriculum, you'll find everything you need on the AGL website, which includes the curriculum by week or a PDF that can be downloaded. We plan to iterate on this curriculum and would welcome your feedback. Please email us at agilegovleaders at gmail.com. Thank you and best wishes for a successful training.